always strive to create the most beautiful and most perfect pearl, but only nature will determine what we get. For nearly 50 years, the Paspaley family have been giving nature a helping hand, farming pearls on the northwestern coast of Australia. It's a business they've tried to excel at, but by and large, what their hard work yields has a lot to do with nature. We can be as smart as we can be, but we still can't control the color of it, the shape of it, the size of it. Only nature determines that. So we have to create an environment in the wild that allows the shell to be as happy as it could possibly be so that it gives us the most beautiful result. And the Paspaley family have been achieving beautiful results for several generations. Started in 1952 by Nicholas Paspaley, today the family firm is carrying on his tradition. But they're also using new techniques. Paspaley brings technicians to where the oysters are cultivated. Here they produce some of the finest South Sea pearls. Our whole vision was not only to grow a pearl, but to, to grow the most beautiful. We, we were striving for excellence in that field. So we take the very, 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 very finest. We grade them and grade them and grade them until we really have the cream of the crop. And then we try to make strands. So we strive initially to produce, to create a strand that has, is as perfectly matched as, as is possible. And then is perfectly matched in luster, in complexion, in shape, and very finely graduated in size. Marilyn, what makes a perfect pearl? To me, perfection is that extraordinary luster and that color that that just captures you and, and a shape that makes it catch a different color whenever you move it. And so every time I, you see one, a different one talks to you. They all have such incredible beauty. For the past 12 years, the Paspaley family have worked with several international designers. Their jewelry ranges from the simple to the sophisticated and allow for diverse collections. We started working with uh, designers overseas who I consider to be signature designers. Once you are familiar with their work, you can't mistake their work for anybody else's. It's very, very distinctive. That's one of the first we uh, had any association with was Carreri Carrera, a Spanish designer, whose work is very sculptural. And he fell in love with our pearls, and we fell in love with his artistry. We have uh, work by Leo de Vrooman, who, um, is based in London. He is a master of enamel work. His, his use of colour and the graduation of colour and the working of the gold behind the layering of the enamel is magnificent. It's truly wonderful. And now you're developing your own design studio. Yes, because it's time. Because we, uh, as much as we, I love um, working with other, with particular designers, their work is their work. We've learned a great deal, too, over the years, and there is a place for the wonderful and the extraordinary, but we know also there is a very strong place in the market for a simplicity, a simplicity of style, an elegance, a timelessness that for today's woman allows her to have a piece which really is tremendously versatile. Why are pearls so popular? I think people today are responding to their natural beauty very much. We're far more aware of how precious and fragile our environment is. And I think we also respond to something that is so beautiful and so natural and, is, and comes from uh, uh, somewhere where we haven't done any damage. That's Marilyn Paspaley.